I'm not packing my backpack like everyone else and I will show you in this video why this might also work for you. Hi everyone, this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams. And in this video, I'm going to revolutionize your backpacking with a simple packing hack that has worked for me for over 20 years. What is the first thing that you need when you get to a camp? It's the tent, of course. So let's make sure you can get to it quickly and I'll show you how I pack it in this way, unlike any other person I've seen so far online. This unique way has really worked out for me in rainy situations, in the snow, when I get to a camp really late and I'm super tired. This just helps me speed up the process and it works every single time. So let's get to it. Let's organize this gear a little bit before we start packing. Some of the things we need access to immediately or while on the trail. And some of the things can just go in the main compartment and we just get them out when we get to our camp. There you have it. Everything up here is the stuff that goes into my outer pockets. And the things back here are for the main compartment that I don't need immediately. So let's start packing the main compartment of the backpack. But I will not start with the sleeping bag like most people do. I mean, this compartment is even called a sleeping bag compartment. But I kind of disagree because what the first thing is that I want to do is set up my tent. So that goes at the very bottom of it. Stick around until the end of the video and I will show you just how fast I can get to this when we have everything in the backpack. I'll put this at the very bottom. And toward the front where the zipper is. The tent, I don't have the poles on it. The poles will actually go on the outside. And the tent is very flexible and it just kind of mushes down to nothing. The second thing I do after I set up my tent is set up my sleep system. So those things go in next. I have my sleeping bag. Actually, we'll start with the pillow first because there's a little space. And then we take the sleeping bag and put it in vertical. I know some people actually take it out of the stuff sack and just put it into the bag by itself. But I really want to protect it. I take it out, I just put it on the ground and it doesn't hurt it. It doesn't get any moisture onto my sleeping bag. So I always use the compression bag. I'm just worried also that it might puncture, like that something that's ripped. So yeah, I had my sleeping bag for a long time and it just always looks nice. It looks brand new still. Next we have the mattress. So now I have several gaps here that I want to fill. And the perfect thing for them is these little bags here. It's my repair kit, my towel, the fire kit, um, the toiletries, all those things I just stuff in all the little gaps that I have. All the heavy gear goes kind of toward the back of the backpack where you carry it and toward the middle of it uh, because that's the easiest way to distribute the weight to make you stable and the backpack doesn't kind of sway or put you off balance. So my heaviest thing is the stove with the gas in it and perhaps my spare clothes if you need to carry extra water that would go there as well. And that's almost it for the main compartment. We just have the, the food. Actually, the food is also possibly a heavy thing. Uh, I have freeze dried meals, they're really light, so it's not a big problem. But yeah, that goes in next as well. Actually, this rain jacket is in the wrong pile. It goes here. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a moment. The jackets go on the very top. They're lightweight and they're easy to access if I need them along the way. 
and they actually make it easy to close the backpack that way. It's my fleece jacket and my down jacket. See, this compresses really well and so it makes it very easy to close um, the backpack. So that's it for the inner compartment. Just close that up. So let's move on to everything that goes in the outer pockets. If you already got some value out of this video, please hit the like button. So let's start with those two outer pockets first. And I know some backpacks might look very different. Uh, you might have a mesh pocket here, in which case I would put the rain jacket into that mesh pocket. The zippers might be slightly on the side or you might only have one of them. But either way, the items that are put in here belong on the outside of the backpack so you can get to them easily. So we'll start with the rain fly first. That goes here. The battery pack so you can charge your phone and anything else that needs charging along the way. And all the cables that you need for the charger. have a lot of cables this time because of the filming. It's usually not this big, this bag. On the other side, I'm going to put my rain jacket and it squishes down to nothing so it can really just go into all the little corners of this pocket. There you go. Let's see. Then we'll talk about what goes into the brain. That's the pocket you probably have the easiest access. So you're going to want to put snacks in, which I don't have here right now. But snacks go in here. In the mesh pocket you might want to put uh, your key or something else that needs to be secured. First aid kit. mosquito spray, toilet paper and a trowel, and sunglasses, and that's it. Actually, let's also put the trash bag there. I always have a, a trash bag on the outside because I pick up trash that people leave behind on the trails. Then we have these outer pockets and that's where I put uh, my tent poles on one side. The tent poles and the tent stakes are both in here. If I can I also squeeze my little seat in this pocket. And then I secure them so they don't get caught on anything or they don't fall out accidentally. If I don't have a hydration bladder inside of my pack, which I don't on this trip because I needed the space for other things, then I just put a drink bottle here in this other pocket and it just fits real well. It doesn't fall out really. I just close this strap without securing it so I can get to it even when I'm hiking. My water filter, sometimes I fit it in the front pockets when there's space. This time it's a little bit bulgy, so I don't have enough space for it. But I still have enough space here in the brain, so I'm going to put it there. Either way, I want to get to it really quickly, so I can fill up my water bottle and, and I always have something to drink. So let's talk about these pockets here next. Those are on the hip belt and they're always really easy to access, uh, unlike those two pockets here, the brain and these outer pockets. Yeah, this one you can put stuff in that you really need immediately. So what is that for me? It's my headlamp. 
I always want to have access to my headlamp immediately. I'll put some snacks in here too, some bar or some nuts or something, and also some spare tissue just in case. In the other one, I put my sunscreen. It's just a mesh pocket, so it's not well protected from the weather, but the sunscreen doesn't really matter. You could also put bug spray there or something else. If you guys want to camp here, I'm going to be out soon. Oh no, we're going to go up to the next lake to camp. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, you always meet friendly people on the trail. It's quite awesome out here. The last thing I have is my InReach Mini and I need to be able to access it easily, which is on my strap here, uh, in case of an emergency, so I can still hit the SOS button if I need it. Also for the satellite reception, it's good to have it pointing up in the sky and kind of clear, so uh, it has view of the satellites, basically. So I usually put that here on this strap or on the one below. Well, that's it for the packing, but let me show you how easy it is to get my tent out because that was the whole point of this video. I wanted to show you a different way of packing the backpack so you can get to camp and get your tent set up in no time versus having it somewhere in the middle of the backpack and you have to dig things out first to get to it. That's why I have the tent down here and my poles on the outside. So let's find the zipper. Here it is. And here's the tent and some of the other items. I can just pull that out. Don't put it in the dust. And then I close this again so nothing falls out. I can get my tent poles really quick. I just loosen the straps, pull them out. And now I have everything that I need to set up my tent. My uh, footprint is here as well. My tent poles and my stakes. Everything else is still secure if it rains, nothing gets wet, nothing falls out and it's just a really easy way to pack it this way. And all the items that are next here in this bottom part are for my sleep system. So after I set up my tent I grab all of these things also from the bottom. I know it seems counterintuitive but it actually works. <laughs> if you want to see what gear I used here when I packed you can check out my previous video. I went into great detail to explain all of my gear that I use for backpacking, all the essential stuff that everyone really should bring, and some of the fun things and nice to have items that you don't necessarily need, but they're just good to have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel because I have many, many more tips coming your way. I have a list of about 50 topics that I want to cover. Uh, everything about backpacking, all the little details that you might not even know or you're doing it in a different way and just want to see the way I, fit, I do things. I want to help you, especially beginners, to be more comfortable out there, be safe out there and just have a lot of fun on your adventures. So take care guys and I see you on my next adventure or in my next backpacking tip video.